Good morning, guys. Seaton H back here. Got my hair all buzzed this morning on this uh, lazy Sunday. I do it myself. I'm not paying people to do it. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a proper uh, gas pipe drip leg and a couple other little key points about gas piping uh, that I think you'll enjoy. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, guys. Seaton H back here. So uh, what do we have here? We have a proper gas line drip leg, and we have an improper uh, gas line drip leg. Which one is correct? The one on the right? Or that, this one on the left? Which one would you say is a proper installation of a drip leg? Well, let me show you. So, what is the purpose of a drip leg? I, I prefer actually to call it a sediment trap because that's what it is, okay? So when you have your gas flowing through your uh, iron, black iron pipe, uh, this does you absolutely no good, okay? It has to change direction, otherwise the sediment will just fly right past the T and uh, nothing is ever going to fall in here. If you get some dirty gas, it's going to go and what's going to happen is it's going to clog your uh, gas valve. I've seen it all the time. Um, I replace a lot of gas valves with this type of uh, drip leg installed. So let's go to the proper one here. Oh, and let's let's keep him. Now this is done properly, okay? Keep in mind you always want your uh, valve before the drip leg, and that's so you can turn the valve off and this can be cleaned out if need be. Now, code in my area is four inches, so you know it would take. I mean, it'd probably take 50 years to fill that up if you had dirty gas, just just saying. I don't think you ever need to uh, take these caps off and clean those out. Um, unless somebody did an improper one, they can only fit a small one in there. It's possible that sediment could build up and get into the gas stream here. So, uh, let's look at the proper one. So, what you have here is you have your gas coming this way, right? So, what's happening is the velocity will push that debris down into there and then the gas will continue on through the T. So it changes directions, it changes to a 90. So um, that's what you have to have. Again, a four inch drip leg on that, but the velocity and any gunk that's in there will blow through and drop into here and the gas will continue on to the appliance um, without all that crap in it. That's what you want, okay? <clears throat> the plumbers in my area all do it like this. Okay, I'm I'm gas piping certified. I'm I'm a um, I'm a master fitter. Uh, I have a master fitter's license to run LP and uh, natural gas uh, lines in residential homes and like commercial. I've argued with them. The inspectors still pass these, and uh, it's not right because this is wrong. Look at the code. It has to be like this. Whenever I see this, I just shake my head. Um, our old house, the water heater, they piped it in. They piped it this way. I changed it immediately because it was doing no good. So, uh, you know, I don't care what. I don't care when somebody says, "Hey, this is the way we've been doing it." So, uh, you know, it's fine. Well, you've been doing it wrong. For I don't care if it's five hundred years. You've been doing it wrong. Do it like this. Uh, another thing too, when doing your gas, your gas piping and your black iron. Take your, take your tape and do two or three revolutions around your threads, right? That's how I do it. Clockwise, so when you tighten your fitting on, it doesn't come off. And then dope it over the top of the tape and then tighten it down good. You'll never have any leaks. I just finished a job that had probably, oh, six or seven feet, six or seven hundred feet of piping and I didn't have a single leak on it. Uh, held pressure, uh, got my green tags on it and we're good to go. So... Uh, just take your time. Plus, I have a really good threader, too, which I'm going to show you guys that someday. Uh, my Milwaukee M18 threader that works awesome. Oil the threads. Oil it really good while you're threading. It makes perfect threads. Uh, these are factory ones from my distributor here. But anyway, in summary, put your gas caulk, your gas valve first, then your T with a change of directions with a drip leg and a cap, minimum four inches, and then change direction, okay? Okay. This is wrong. It doesn't change direction. It goes straight on through. It's worthless, basically. You might as well not even have this here. Just have a straight piece of pipe if you're going to do that. 
and the plumbers around here do it all the time so it just kills me so if you guys got any questions about how these are done and if you have any uh comments you think i'm wrong about something then go ahead and put uh let me know but i'm pretty sure damn sure i'm not so uh that concludes this video thanks for watching